Hey everybody, it's Beth. I grabbed this sign from Dollar General and I removed the little gardening tools from the bottom of it and the hanger from the top. I painted the entire front and sides with sheepskin color chalk paint by Folk Art, giving it two coats. The second coat, I used a sponge to apply it so I didn't have any paintbrush strokes. I then took this wood sign that I got from Michaels. I believe it's a four by four and just painted the outer edges and the entire back. Next, I'm taking these one inch letters from Hobby Lobby and I'm painting them with moss color chalk paint by Waverly. And those I painted the front and sides with two coats. I had also grabbed this scrap of paper from Hobby Lobby and I traced the front of the box onto that and cut out that section. I added a generous layer of Mod Podge to the top of that box and placed down the scrap of paper, smoothing it out with my hands at first and then use my heating tool to dry it. Just kind of smoothing it as I go along to make sure there's no bubbles or wrinkles. Once that's dry, I add a layer of Mod Podge to the top, again using my heating tool to dry it and sanding off the excess paper. And I have these stamps and stamp block that I got from Dollar Tree. I place one of the flower stamps on the stamp block and then I push down the ink pad onto the stamp. And I always like to wipe off the excess around it to make sure it doesn't get on to my project. And then flip it around and place that down on to the little flower pot. I then take the garden tools that were from the sign and kind of just set them where I want them. And then I use a pen to make markings just so I know where to put the glue. I add hot glue to where the handles will be and place those back down. And then I hot glue the flower pot on top of those. And to add the words on, I am adding Mod Podge to the top part of the flower pot. And while that's still wet, I place down these letters. And once the Mod Podge dries, those will stick to it. I just get them into place and then kind of push them into the Mod Podge and use my heating tool to dry it. And that is it for this project. Thank you so much for watching.